CoreLogix is one of the only platforms that allows you to query your archive traces directly. So in CoreLogix, an archive is a remote cloud storage. Um, and in, what you can do in the CoreLogix platform is from your traces UI, you can see this archive button here. So we're currently in tracing view. If you click archive, what it will do is automatically switch into archive mode. Archive mode allows you to query the data in your cloud storage directly for no extra cost. So there's some things that you can do here. Um, you can build graphs from that data. You can filter it exactly the same way. You can filter, look for errors, query by span duration, and much, much more. All the same things that one can do uh, when uh, querying the high-performing traces, as well as uh, searching. So once again, if we just use service name, and we'll do something different this time, recommendation service, for example. And um, if we uh, query for that, then this is going to run against the cloud storage. So you'll notice it's a little bit slower, um, but this is for no extra cost uh, per query. And uh, you're basically paying for very, very little retention cost because it's being held in low cost cloud storage, not in high cost SSDs and magnetic disk. And there's no markup. CoreLogix doesn't charge you for the retention of this data. You own, you, the retention is completely on your side. So you pay very, very little per gigabyte. So when you're um, defining your data retention strategy, definitely have a look at this. The way to define which uh, traces are gonna go to um, the high performance storage, which not, you can use the TCO optimizer. So the way to define this with the TCO quota optimizer, you'll see this traces option here. You can go to here, you can see the various um, cost optimizations that are associated with each role, and you can define uh, archive querying by many, many different uh, ways. For example, you can say any traces that go to this particular health check endpoint, let's get rid of them because we don't need them. They're not important to our um, data. You can block, set a priority, uh, and that kind of thing. So, and you can even set archive retention to decide how long you're going to hold on to this data for. So once again, if you wish to query your archive data, all you have to do in CoreLogix is just click that button. No cost per query, no cost for additional users. Um, it's very, very fast and allows you to query a huge volume of traces uh, to develop really powerful uh, overreaching insights into all of your traces. And it takes uh, tracing from the purely operational realm that it exists in most platforms into the historical realm as well, like you can do in CoreLogix.